Sancho's time. Good, Good morning. morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. This is Athens in the AM. What is today? Wednesday? Today yes. is Wednesday the 11th. Yeah, Roy D. up here. Join me this morning. See him. <laughs> yeah, Zach's ready to go. Let's go to the smiling folks in here this morning. The two overnight buddies I hear this morning that have been ready. Facebook, internet. I just places. never saw it in you guys to mock Alabama. But now that I know, I don't even do Facebook. They're talking to Danny. Joseph, you're good, you, brother. Huh? You're good, Joseph. I didn't get on there and talk smack. You well, didn't? Let me see if I can find Danny Vincent's well, I see, uh, well, I understand Danny did. <laughs> huh? Y'all know, was, uh, I'm guessing there was a ball game Monday night. A uh, good ball Oh, yeah, he goes. Not just he ball ball Here's one of them, Jamie. Oh, oh, let's go to Zach see what he got. Those poor t t from Danny Vincent. Those poor T-shirts, Here's congratulations to the Clemson Kings of college football. Right. Ooh. That was the SPM, not me. Yeah, yeah, was, that was Danny, yeah. He must have deleted that other one. I said. At least Roy <laughs> called me before the game and said, man, it's going to be a good game. Now, hope Bama wins them all. Mm. Well, it's close. Oh, That's there's cool, always man. next one year. Second, you can't win yeah. that ain't going. You can't count that one second. That's got to be. It huh? was a good game. I, I, I asked you at church, Jamie, and I said, are you brave just in case Clemson comes in hot? And you said yes. I don't remember talking to you, sir. <laughs> 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 Let's just go ahead and go to Zach for sports right now. Oh, okay. Hey, we'll go to KFC. KFC sponsors sports, so let's go to Zach. I'm going early. I'm going early. Sports with Bama Zach. Brought to you by Kentucky Fried Chicken. The best fried chicken in Athens and Limestone County. Hey, I'm going to make this short and sweet. Hey, go see Roy and the gang at Herbs and More. If you need anything taken care of, they will hook you up. Go see Roy and the gang. Um, Got to mention real quick, too, uh, and this is for Auburn folks right here. Auburn softball uh, will have a benefit this Saturday night at its event center at 5 o'clock. Guest speaker, former Auburn and Tennessee Titan kicker Al Del Greco. You can get tickets on for only thirty dollars, include steak drink, reserve a table, whatever you can call Auburn or Auburn. Call Ardmore <laughs> High School and they will give you all details. But hey, that's Saturday night at the event center Al Del Greco. And hey, we want to give a shout out to our buddy Frank. We know he's probably home watching. We miss you, Frank. Get out of here. Hey, uh who? Frank. <laughs> we done forgot him, okay. Hey, uh Yep, the game, 35-31, they won that, made that last play. And, you know, they can go all over those pick plays. You know, the referee said it was legal, so so be it. That didn't what cost the game. We're looking for excuses. What right? cost us the game we lost. was we, we left our defense on for 99 plays. They had they ran 99 plays. That wears your defense out. Plus, our secondary is terrible, and we couldn't get a first down when we needed one. So, so you know you said our quarterback's bad. No, I ain't saying he just got to develop his uh, – Passing skills. He's just young. He's, he's, young. Young. he's young. Kid. Yeah. He just got to develop his passing skills. Uh, hey, we were, the people talking smack. You know, we, we saw, we you know, Auburn Road Tumors Corner. Well, give you know, them a reason to. Come on. Give them, on. Back. So, give them you know, what they deserve. You know, that's fine. Some of the players, but, but, but there, there's pictures that, that happened. Y'all, they didn't do it, but some Auburn folks down there did. <laughs> but uh, ex quarterback at Clemson said, said that team the other night couldn't beat their 81 team. Well, I think they probably would have. Select them. Hey, uh, we'll skip Alabama now and go to top ranked Baylor. They got beaten basketball last night. But I'll tell you, the biggest win streak right now is UConn women's basketball. We were close. Won their 90th 90. in a row. 90. That's pretty awesome right there. Hey, and that only ties the current. Their current record. Right. Absolutely. That ain't even the record for them. Are, and I got one final thing, and this is pretty big in NASCAR because Carl Edwards was one of the best drivers out there, only 37 years old, and he's having his uh, retirement. Uh, announcement what, today. What do we know about that? Nobody. I was wondering, was he getting in TV, Joseph? But it doesn't say. So he just got tired of racing. But he was good, yeah, Joseph. He was fun, he was fun driving. Hey, yeah. y'all know what? I forgot to do weather. I know. Why don't you do it? Glory is more. Most Draining. important. Throw it up there and I'll do it. <laughs> Let's see, Jamie. This morning. That's what you should have been was a weather guy Monday back night. in the Somebody started mentioning something about Monday night. The weather. With Gloria. <laughs> yeah, Lord. Roy, why don't you do weather? I love it. It's wet outside. <laughs>
Hey, weather today. I'm gonna do weather. Some rain, hot weather. It was cold on the day, wasn't it? It was, it was cold. Brutal. Now look hey, there. I don't know why. I gotta make a. They said it was gonna be warm yesterday. They said 60 degrees. When I took the garbage can out, I had to have them with me. I'd get blown away. <laughs> I bet the wind chill must have been 30 degrees. So anyway, let's get back to going out. Hey. Oh, Dixie Auto, am I talking about them too? Man, having five days <laughs> off working too, you're all the game. Come on, Jamie. Come on, buddy. Let's get with it. We are in January, aren't we? Yes. yes. January 1st through 31st, free delivery and pickup. Now, me and Roy do business down there. Yes, we do. We are Toro owners. That's right. You mean you have a Toro that you pay somebody to ride? No, I don't have a ride mode. <laughs> hey, I got to tell you, back during the tornadoes in 11, when... Sheila Lauderdale fed us for two weeks, we didn't have power. I got so bored, I went and bought me a new lawnmower and had somebody cut my grass. What? I bought me one of them electric star push mowers. Uh-huh. Pitiful. Uh -huh. Lori, why do you let him do stuff like that? I shouldn't. Hey, <laughs> thanks to Grace and Bailey, I ain't cranked that thing in three years. <laughs> Grace would probably buy it off of you. Probably. A guy, a Wisconsin guy was arrested during the holidays for drunk driving. It was his 11th drunk driving yeah. charge, oh. and he had a valid driver's license. How? Stephen Johnson was his name. Really? Yeah. What? Was arrested by police, had 10 previous drunk driving convictions. He should have been under a jail. It was reinstated in How July. How did he get his license? Huh? Oh, he had just gotten it back. Just gotten right. it back. 10 of them. Uh, but I bet Democrats run that part of the world. Golly. Oh, man, y'all. Oh, Obama did his farewell speech last night. That's yeah, all I've heard about this morning. I oh, yeah, he was crying and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Talking yeah. about things. Y'all watch it. He's got to uh, pay for his own airplane now. Reckon Sessions is going to get approved? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They can't stop it, can they? No, they can't stop it. And unless they come out with just something crazy, yeah, he's yeah. going to get well, I'm going to ask y'all a few questions. Is our, our guest here? I'm trying to get him here. Bear with me. <laughs> They're not me. here yet? There's somebody right out there right now. There they are. Okay. Let her, all right, thank goodness. We've got sunshine coming in for you okay. today. Well, here's our weather girl this morning. Amy <laughs> Sunshine coming in now. Well, Lord, we still got two or three minutes before it's your turn. The old time. <laughs> Hang on, She's going to be in ready. Just a second. It's as a rainy day. As soon as we move them two guys over there and bump them out of the way, we'll be ready to go. <laughs> Y'all know Alabama got beat Monday night, don't you? They're from Tennessee. Yeah, that's all right. Praise God. Go <laughs> big on. A couple things right here. Do y'all know what the worst day of the week to send an email is? Monday. 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 How'd y'all know that? Because <laughs> nobody at ever. work wants to have something happen. Never to send an week. email. No wonder I ain't heard back from nobody. <laughs> Fire them on Friday. The more mistakes <laughs> you have in your heading, the less likely like you it. are to get a response. I, yep. I believe that. Yeah. I got two other little simple questions for y'all before we break down and have y'all still got to be in Fayetteville this morning? Yes. Okay, we'll get you Answers out here. Answers are yes and We'll no. get you out here by 10. All right, here we go. How long did it take Coach Saban to find Devo Sweeney after the game Monday night? Three minutes. Three minutes. Matt. A little over three minutes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Class act. That, that's, that's, you heard what he said, didn't you? He said, he said, he's a friend of mine. He said, that's the classiest thing to do. And I was going to make sure I found. Yeah. And he's the right next coach at Alabama. Yeah. Yeah, I don't doubt that. I'll be surprised. Hey, Saban's out here since he lost that championship game. Oh, you no, reckon? He's no, not. He just can't handle it, can he? No, he's not out here. He just can't handle it, can he, James? All right. No. One last question, Roy, mainly pertaining to you. I could not believe this when I saw it on Daily Mail. It's uh -oh. a sad story. Oh. Las Vegas. Listen. I know a lot about that. It's don't like never it. Been there. <laughs> An elderly couple drove to the top of the parking garage at the Silverton Casino, got out of their car, and jumped <gasps> off. Yeah. No. Oh, here's what they're saying. Why? Elderly couple, age 63. <laughs> Is that elderly? <laughs> oh, no. I'm 63. Who wrote that? <laughs> it's an elderly couple. And here's what they killed them. So now do I say my elderly husband? Here's, <laughs> here's what they killed themselves over. They owed $15,400 oh. in credit card debt. You could have gotten out of that. Don't do that. There's worse. There's whole, always worse. 
at any given about time. About 15 times credit card debt? 30 times that. Yeah. Welcome to the I owe that on one card. <laughs> I, 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 I got more debt than that, I thought you supposed to be in debt. I'm glad you don't you have a clue. You that. Oh, <laughs> to live in debt. I yeah. got to live in debt. <laughs> but that's, that's but also real estate advice. Off I mean, world. I think we need to it, Oh, it also <laughs> said <laughs> they thought they were going to foreclose on their $400,000 house. Still oh. not. So they had other issues well, they had just the credit card debt. And what some of the about? comments were, Money? it'd be better to live in a trailer and let the bank have it. Yes, it yeah. would. Yes, Why it would. I'll call Jim Hodges to take him come get my house. There you right. go. <laughs> Where are you going to put the trailer? It's your lot on the river. Put the lot at the river. I started out in the trailer. I'll go down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got That's it. what you say. We'll take a break. That's right. <laughs> my hometown market. I didn't show y'all the kitchen today because I can't. Y'all know I can't stand up good because I have my knee replaced one a month, month ago yesterday. Wow. Yeah, it's already doing good. good. It's been a month. Great. You're doing good. I By next month, it'll be Wednesday great. He called it Don Lauderdale. I beat your record. That's what I sent out. That's the only reason he did it. We got a superstar in here. We got to get her on. Come on. There she is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Give me sunshine. Little Emmy sunshine. Talk to her just a moment. <laughs> yesterday, I asked the well, blogger checks if she's got anything on YouTube. Uh, does yeah. she? <laughs> pieces on there. And they're all fabulous. Look you her up. From her, set your record. Get me. Get a good shot of me as you record today. We're gonna see her in just a moment. She's awesome. Y'all about to see her live and in person right here. Y'all, hang on. She does good with the camera. Oh, no. She's made it into the studio. If y'all have never seen this gal right here, 12 years old. Is it Madisonville, Tennessee? Yep. That's right. This girl's been on the Today Show. I mean, I, I, I put you on yesterday. I was going to go to YouTube, look at a little bit. Maddie was going to watch you, but she sounds asleep. Our four-year-old over there, granddaughter, ready to go. About how many uh, things you got on YouTube? Um, I kind of lost count. <laughs> Hundreds. I guess, Thousands. maybe. Thousands? Thousands. Thousands. How long have you been singing? I've been singing ever since I was four, but professionally I've been singing ever since I was about seven, eight, something like that. So you do this full time? Yeah. Hey, Mom and Daddy working you today, basically. No, I'm pretty much working them to death. <laughs> I'm pretty much working them to death. Do you just love to sing that much? I do. I've always, it's been in my family for so long. My great grandmother sang, my grandmother sang, my dad sings. So I just kind of always wanted to do this. And you do it all the time. Yeah, as long as they'll let me. Oh, we're going to hear one right now. We're going to give you about 10 or 15 minutes here. That keeps me from having to work. So here she is live in the studio from Athens, Alabama, right now. Emmy Sunshine, and she's going to light up y'all's morning. Go, girl. All right.
I know Danny here, he, he's a big movie star. He's full time into movies, so you might want to try to impress him in here a little bit today if we go somebody. If, if, I, if I wanted you to say, now Joseph Fair looks like a yodeler. If I wanted you to give him a quick yodeling lesson, could you do that? Um. Tell him how you yodel a little bit. Tell him how to start out there. Do a little something for you. Is that fast or slow? Both. Oh, that was fast. That's, Joseph, did you get all that? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, you do, now, you do a dot of, how many songs do you know? Well, um, we started out counting all of them, but after that, we just kind of lost count. And we just kind of, we tried to. Hundreds. Yeah. Hundreds. Well, I might do hundreds. I've kind of, I, I think I've wrote about, um, a hundred, maybe. I'm not sure. But you do a lot of Dolly Parton stuff, too. I do do a lot of Dolly Parton stuff. What's your favorite Dolly Parton song? Hmm. I heard, I've seen Jolene and all that kind of stuff. You like that one? Oh, yeah. I do like that one. Can you do it? Sure. All right. Let's hear it. Jolene. time singers have you met? All of them? Well, um, I've met, well, yeah, I met Loretta, and I've met um, Willie Nelson, and uh, I met Marty Stewart. I've met a lot of people that have really uh, been so nice to us, and Loretta, she was just so sweet. They told me, um, hey, Emmy, we want you to meet your biggest fan. I, I thought I was going to meet a fan, you know, I was really excited to, but I didn't think I'd be able to meet Loretta, and then once I turned around, it's Loretta, and we started talking for a little while, and she's just the sweetest person you'll ever meet. I don't get to meet big stars like that. I mean, you're the biggest one I've met, but uh, now you do a lot of stuff on Facebook Live, I guess. Yes, we. I'm, I'm just pointing this ain't You ain't doing this on Facebook Live this morning, Mama. I'm uh, all well, <laughs> can't do them all, right? Can't do it all, yeah. So, you, know, you travel all around doing uh, interviews with uh, big time movie star, uh, television stars like me and uh, radio stations and stuff like that all over? Um, we are beginning to. We've like, started like a radio tour and everything. I'm probably going to do that soon. We just came out to uh, come up to Nashville and everything. What are you promoting? Um, you? 
Well, <laughs> yeah, pretty much in the band and our new the band CD. Is and, not here, I'm guessing no, they're, they're sleeping in. Yeah, they're, they're at a the house. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get one other song out before you have to travel to Fayetteville to do a road. What is your? Uh, do you do a real good re rendition of Amazing Grace, or what's one of your favorites? Um, I think I do. <laughs> yeah. You wanna do that? Sure. Let's do Amazing Grace as we go out of here with her on this uh, Wednesday. Thank you for coming up. It's been a pleasure to see you this morning. I hope to have. What are you going to do when you grow up? I guess this. <laughs> you guess this? Well, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's what I want to do, so. You just like it that much. I do. This is what I love. All right. Emmy Sunshine, it's a pleasure to have you in here this morning. Do whatever you want. Amazing Grace or Coal Miner's Daughter, I don't care. Just do one more song for us okay. this morning and blow us out of this studio before you depart for Fayetteville. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, oh, now I'm found, was blind. Remembers, okay? All right. All right. Let's go to Words of Wisdom with Zach before he gets out of here. Thank you, Emmy. You did a super job this morning. Words of Wisdom with Zach, and we'll be right back. Y'all hang on. We don't meet people by accident. They are meant to cross our path for a reason. We'll be right back. some sunshine to a forecast for sure. Let's quickly go over that forecast before the boys get started here today. And of course, it is raining outside. 50% chance of those showers throughout the day today. 58 is your temperature right now. So there it is. 58, 65 for your high. So at least the cold temperatures are moving on out for a few days anyway. Look at tomorrow, 68. Nice. 
partly cloudy skies. 56 for that low. Right. Look at the radiance. Yes, He's ready to go now. There's the rest of the forecast. Right. Maddie, wake up now. Amy Sunshine left. All right, Roy, I, I set you up with her singing. There's she great? Outside tub. Rain it. Nope. It's, it's yeah. still, still wet. Beat that. <laughs> I can't even come close. My goodness, uh, Emmy Sunshine, she's going to be a superstar. Yes, There's no is. doubt about it. Just beautiful young girl. You know what she's got, too, is if you know she's got a natural beauty, and that's what I'm going to be talking mm -hmm. about today. You know, when you're talking about uh, keeping your skin healthy so that you make a good appearance, and that's important. You know, we all want to do that. It's easier than you think, and listen very carefully to these words. It's less expensive than it is to do it with all that expensive makeup and all those expensive lotions that's on the market. I had a lady come in to me the other day, she was using something on her face, little bitty bottle about that big around, $125. Ooh, they suck that's us that into stuff anything. <laughs> I like to fell out on the floor, I said, I could make that for Don't you for that. a nickel. <laughs> that's true fact. That's true. That it is, is. A true I fact. guarantee you it's true. And they put these big movie stars on it, you know, and then, I'm and, then and all I'm going to do is I'm going to get Emmy Sunshine to, to sponsor my product. She's, she's <laughs> beautiful. You, that, that well, was awesome. You that commercial, man, she'll never know the difference. I didn't want it to <laughs> no. end. I wanted that just to keep going. You know, y'all don't need me on today. Y'all need hair back on. But real quick, how how simple is it to make your skin healthier and pretty? If y'all could see the difference in my skin at 61 compared to when I was about 31 when I started with Jamie. I will pull some of that video, and next time you're on, we'll show that. It's you're incredible. Elderly. I have it. And, yes. and listen, I want to say something about my wonderful and beautiful wife. She's been doing something that I'm always slow to catch on because she starts doing these new beauty things. But she started doing this one, and then. And I started doing it, and it is amazing to see the difference in just about three weeks. Now, you got to be a little patient at the beginning, and it's so inexpensive. All you got to do, number one, to create more natural beauty without having to use all those expensive things is, number one, take the MSM Plus C internally. Why? Because it works with your body to manufacture collagen. Collagen is absolutely necessary for soft, pretty skin, less wrinkles, prettier hair, faster growing fingernails. And, and the other thing about it is it's, it's really detoxing your whole body at a cellular level, so you're just doing yourself a favor by building yourself up internally with MSM plus C. There's some studies showing that it even gives elasticity back to the veins, arteries, and capillaries, reducing your risk of heart attack or stroke by as much as 50% in just 90 days. Why not take something that's so inexpensive and works? The other thing is the MSM plus C full body lotion. Fellas, after you've showered and shaved, put the MSM plus C full body lotion on your face. Girls, all you women, after you've getting ready to put your makeup on, use the MSM plus C full body lotion as a base. Why? Collagen. Once again, it makes the skin softer, prettier, fewer wrinkles. It's just an incredible thing. Alkalize your body with pH drops, which means you need to stay away from all soft drinks. Don't ever drink with those nasty, stinking, disgusting things. Did I say disgusting? They are. Why? Because they're so acidic that if you drink one 10 ounce soft drink, don't matter what kind it is, you've got to drink 38 uh, I mean, 32 eight ounce glasses of water with 12 of our pH drops in it to offset the acid in one 10 ounce soft drink. You know what acid do? Does, what the acid does? It, <laughs> the acid ages you. It ages you and it speeds it up. But the last part of this thing is when you get in the shower or you're taking a bath, ladies, fellas. You invented that too? I did not. <laughs> but I'm telling you something. You know how cheap this stuff is? Yes. All you do is when you finish washing your face in the shower, before you get out, take this in your fingers and just rub it all over what? your face. It takes the dead skin off your face. It it's alkalizes exfoliated. your skin. It exfoliates. That's right. Mm -hmm. You will be, the first time you use it, when you rinse it off, don't use any more soap, when you rinse it off, now you've cleansed all the poisons out of your skin, and it is, your skin is so soft and smooth, it is crazy, and then you add that MSM lotion, why? Because now you've exposed all, right, you all those young cells. I don't ever see that, don't have it in the refrigerator. That's now, right. you can Most also use it on the sink, it's a great cleaner with some vinegar. You put it on I mean, your face when? Stuff. Be after right you get shower, out of the shower, before you get out of the shower, after you've washed your, used Where are you the soap, in the shower. Well, you do when that. buys it, okay. no kidding, y'all. 
on our shower, she's got that, that 13 pound bag of this, but it's in a plastic Ziploc baggie so you can zip it back up. And you just reach in and get some Mountain Rub. Anywhere you've got. All you buy it in 13 pound bags? No. Oh, she yes, puts you it can. in a bag. Well, no, I guess you, you can, can buy it. It's, it's really? actually in a 13 pound resealable bag and it's it's baking soda. But it's so simple. You to know where the cleaning supplies are? Works. There's a box about this big in there. Huh? Wow. You didn't know that at our house, did you? Is it in the refrigerator? No. There is some in there, too. <laughs> oh, oh, no, That's where most people sit. Right? That's where most people sit. It's yeah, in the refrigerator. To keep the it's amazing what we have in our house that he doesn't yeah. know about. <laughs> Y'all do yourselves a favor, though. MSM plus C full body lotion. Also use it internally. Do your pH drops. They're so easy to use. And do that baking soda in three weeks. Everybody you know will be like they're doing with Gwen. Everywhere she goes, she says, I can't believe you're as old as you are. And I'm, going, I'm not going to say her age. <laughs> and I, uh, she does look great for her age. <laughs> her skin is just, it's starting to glow. It According to Daily Mail, amazing. she's elderly like Jamie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> elderly, 63 years old. She's That's not nuts. 63. No, she's not. Well, she she's isn't even not. 60 yet. So I married a young one. Oh, you did too, did she's, she, Yeah, she's not even All 60 right, yet. I see Roy, Abby, Molly, the whole bunch down there. Abby walked in yesterday and picked Natty up and had covered from head to toe in Alabama. So I said, what are you doing wearing that crown? <laughs> Anyway. That's right. Right side. We get They're the same awesome. money this year. We don't have to buy new t-shirts. That's right. <laughs> All right, Roy. See you later. Herbs and more. Y'all go by and visit with them right there. It is. Give them a call. 233 Go by and visit them. All right. <laughs> we'll take a break. Come right back. Y'all hang on. Oh. <laughs> well, you can't because you're elderly. Yeah. <laughs> One hour in that article, I am. Don, I don't know where they put you. <laughs> I read the same article and I thought the same thing when I, when I, I was like, because I'm 52. I mean, so that's not that far away you're from about to be Well, what happens I know. when the new 50 is 40, 40 is 30? That's 30 what I'm going 20. by. <laughs> I'm still good. doing so. I, so the 60 is the new 40, or so we're going to call really that? 40. And 50 is the new 30. Why don't we go with that? There you go. I, yeah. I think that's the way. Yeah. I mean, Jamie's got a bionic knee now, so he can he can be ready to go. When are you going to have the other one You'll be 40, I'll be 20. Well, it ain't going to be... Stream by on. By the way, Dr. <laughs> Stanford will be with us tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, you know what you need to... You know what would be really good TV? For him to do your flexibility test on oh. live. I don't on think air. he does that. That's therapy. Well, I bet I he can. therapy does that. I, I bet he knows how. What do they how. call therapists? Therapy. What? what do they call therapy? I call it hell. Therapy <laughs> <laughs> terrorist or something. Physical terrorist. Physical terrorist. Physical terrorist. Yeah. Yeah. They're Physical. awesome. Though. I got to give a shout out Dreyer. to Graham. Those guys are awesome down there. They do a. Dr. Will Holly yeah, taking over Will there. Is doing an awesome, awesome job. Yeah. So, how much of your I flexibility do you I got back? I notice I get a different one every time I go. I wonder why that is. Are you <laughs> yeah. that bad of a patient? I mean, I wonder why that is. Every time I go, oh, you got somebody else today. Do you? What's wrong with you people? Do you mutter things under your breath? I mean, I'm just wondering. He's really hey, good. Buddy, when they start measuring it, Don knows you dead. Mm -hmm. That's tough, the painful man. part. Oh, when? So how, how have you? Are you back to straight yet, or how close are you? I'm straight, but I can get up to. I can do 95 on my, by my. You gotta get to 120. He can do 95 on his own. 100 if they push you. So he's got to get to 120. You got to get to 120. On your what own. does that mean? 120 degrees or? Yes. Yeah. Bent. So it's coming back that way yes. is the part is the hard part. Yes. Um, but it's only been a month, so you're yeah, great. Yeah, hard. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, difficult. when I'm on that table and they're doing it, I'm hanging on. Are you really? Oh yeah. That's only that's not the whole time through therapy. Don't no, scare anyone. No, they just anyone. do that to start with. That's only when the rest they. Of the time you're in there. No, you're not. Well, See, are you up here today talking about my knee? Or you got nothing. Hey, I was trying to help you. I mean, because you just kind of. I mean, Danny and and Joseph and I think are going to have to go on strike about what you said to us during the break. Oh, which one? I mean, was I've that? never been. I've, I, it's seldom that I've been that badly insulted before. Oh no, Trying I missed it. Me. Yeah, I mean, the thing he said, folks, was the late, the little girl that sang. He d usually doesn't want to have anybody on there that outshines him. <laughs> well, then me and Danny and Joseph look at each other and go, "Well, what, what does that we? say about us?" <laughs> well, that says you ain't up to par with me. That's all I can think of. I mean, hey. <laughs> They ain't gonna do nothing. They're church members. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and I'm the renegade that'll just right. do whatever or say right. whatever, right? So what we, are you talking about? Now you know why we say he's a legend in his own mind. That's right. 
Well, I mean, I kind of knew that the first time I walked yeah. in y'all's house and saw the Jamie Cooper, Cooper Museum. Museum. That's about right. That's yeah. the reason you can never downsize to a trailer, no, Jamie. We Where will. would your museum be? I got too be? much stuff. <laughs> It's just stuff. Of me. That's Get what I told at the men's conference, men's <laughs> breakfast we had the other day. Oh, that's funny. Uh, all right, what am I talking about today? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I have started a, you know, we all do New Year's resolutions, right? Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. I decided to do one for me and then get all the guys who read the stuff that I write and listen to the podcast and that thing to jump on board with me. At dlauderdale.com. ModernSouthernGentleman.com. 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 And it really has been building in me for a couple of years, but it really became apparent during this last presidential election. Um, people are just mean. Oh, yes. <laughs> Just flat out mean. We can't even have a conversation without being mean. Without being disagreeable, you know, yeah, we can't. We don't. We don't know how to disagree agreeably, and yeah. so that's why everybody on this show usually agrees with me. Well, not everybody. Not Trump. everybody, <laughs> but you know. Uh, Freddie did a thing in Sunday, Sunday school class where like Danny can testify to this fact. We were all sitting there, and Freddie, there were about twenty of us, and Freddie said, "How many of y'all in here ever thought?" Or supported Donald Trump from no, the beginning, thought he'd be he president. Would president. Who raised her hand? Only one. Me. Only one. Person. Only one. You were the, you and Roy were the I only two that I knew that were. I never. So that. with that in mind, I was trying to figure out a really short, simple way, just for something we could all remember. And I, I uh, cycle back to a podcast interview I did with Steve Shaw, who's the director of right. officiating. And he always tells his officials to act like Southern gentlemen. And so during in the interview, I asked Steve, I said, well, okay, what does that mean to you? When you think of that, what, do you, what does it come across to you? And Steve just gave me the perfect answer. He said, don't be a jerk. Just hmm. don't, be, don't a jerk. be a jerk. And so that's what I did for my New Year's resolution and what I've been getting the guys that listen to our stuff. And a lot of the guys have gotten on board. I've gotten emails from them going, yeah, we're, we're on board. It's just don't be a jerk. What would our world look like if everybody made their resolution, especially the men, for, the, for 2017 to not be a jerk in every situation that you find yourself in? Sometimes you have to stop and think before you speak. I have to all the time. You I mean, should. I mean, <laughs> you know, I know not everybody does it all the time, but we should try to do that more often. Well, you can. Uh, I, I noticed a thing in the paper. We had another situation with one of our local police officers didn't yeah. get served at a at a fast food place, and we see that happening all over. And then the, someone the was quick to quick to post it on Facebook, and it went viral of boycotting, and that is not what happened at all. So right. don't anyone start doing that. And Facebook is the worst place to get your news. You didn't from. get the rest of the story. No. The officer went into the Athens uh, Taco Bell. He was there for five minutes at the counter. I don't know if anyone noticed him. I don't know if he was ignored. I don't know what it was, but he chose to leave after five right. minutes and go somewhere else. Okay. Someone posted on Facebook that he was referred, refused to be served, which was not the case. So look how bad it spread around the town, though. Right, and, and, and I guess that's a, great, that's a great example of this because I'm one, and this is the reason this is a, a thing for me, is if I ever think I've gotten bad service or I've been ignored, I'm really bad about being a jerk about it. No. Whether, no. no. Can you believe that? Not you. Not me in, in a <laughs> restaurant. Right, <laughs> no, I can believe it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, it, and it's bad, and I shouldn't do it. I mean, I'm, it's not something to be proud of. Right. So that's just what I'm trying to tell myself all Good. through the rest of the year is just don't be a jerk because we have a, a, a hundred opportunities every day to either make somebody's day that we're interacting with better or worse. How many times do you get maybe 10 compliments a day and you get one bad one and what are you dwelling on all day? You always drill one bad oh, one. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's that's why I quit reading the the comments and stuff on on things on that I, that I write because oh, there's good point. always somebody that's just going to that's just, just a troll that right. just wants to see just what they can do. Just want to be a jerk. Yeah, they just want to be a jerk and see what they do. I mean, I quit reading the the comments online mm -hmm. on a lot of websites. Uh, I used to be real bad about going to just almost these websites that yeah. just look for something to complain about, look for something to yell about. And I just thought, you know, that's not doing me any good. That's not making me a better person. That's not making me uh, adding on to adding value to the people in the world. So I just decided I'm just not going to do that anymore. So, so you're not going to be a jerk anymore? I'm going to try not to be a jerk. Diligently now, not to for be some a of us like me, that's a little harder. It's going to take a little while. I mean, I may be halfway through the year before I really get this thing dialed in like it <laughs> needs to be That's but good. I, I gotta I gotta start, start somewhere so I'm just I'm just asking everybody to make that their mm -hmm. New Year's resolution and imagine what our world could look like 
12 months from now if we all decided that. That ain't going to happen. Too but many if, liberals in the world. No, but if we enough of just us worry will. about yourself. Prime example. Them, uh oh. Uh, gay husbands that got on Ivanka Trump. On yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. see what happened to him the other day? A Daily Mail re, a Fox reporter found one of them out walking his dog. Yeah. The guy wouldn't even show his face. That's funny. You can jump on an innocent woman and her kid, but you can't show your face and talk to me. Yeah. Now that he's a jerk. He is. He, he is being a jerk. Yeah. And. You're right. They're, the world is always going to have them in there. But how about if we just reduce the number of jerks from Start with this yourself. many to this many? Right? Wouldn't, wouldn't your world be more pleasant to be that in? That ain't my number one goal in life, but you go at it, D. Well, what's your number one goal in life, Jamie Cooper? To walk. <laughs> well, <laughs> but you know you're going to do that. To then what you going like to do after Don that? Lauderdale, huh? <laughs> to be a good Christian person like Don Lauderdale. And well, mom. I can assure you he's not a jerk, nor no. is Ms. Sheila. Right, you just want to get back on the bike and get to spinning again. Are you going to be able to do that again? I want your mama to cook for me again, huh? Well, I don't you know. <laughs> you know yeah, I always want that. I will be able to do that again. It's that's good. It's down the road. But I did get a full rotation the other day on the bike, though. So that's, that's a good, good start. That's good. So that's the start. That's you good, agree? man. I'm glad to hear that for you. a very you. good start. So you starting to think jerkaholics? Hey, that's a good idea. I can, I, you know, do I have to give you any cut, any cut of the proceeds of that? Uh, I like that. Yep, I'm headed to Nashville. Actually, inauguration day. I've got a bunch of podcast interviews lined up. Doing a lot of writing now. Coming out weekly on the email list. Uh, getting a lot of positive comments good. from that, and that's exciting. And just all things are good, man. I Having a good we'll time. See you in a couple weeks then. What kind of socks yeah, you I got? think I'm going to come next week when Killer's here. What kind of socks you got on? Yes, he will be here next week. Yep, Wednesday. I got the guitar socks today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Danny and Joseph coming up next. Thank you, D. So, yeah, Killer will be here Thursday. Thursday, right. yeah. Oh, Thursday, March, not Wednesday. Next week. Yeah, so I'm going to come over and see comedy him. comedy club opening or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm excited because I love stand-up comedy. Yeah. So He'll be there. I hope it'll be good. I need to start I'm going to get some here. tickets. Y'all, hang on. <laughs> you let Killer come in and do a set. So, y'all still, still gloating? <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I mean. Uh, you can. I'm you, proud. Is he speaking for you, too? I'm proud for Davo. <laughs> Let's put it that yeah. way. I'm, I'm proud oh, for him. Oh, I've got to get me yeah. under and get me. That, that's, 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 that's true. That's the one Urban Meyer. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. I, it could have been, I'll be honest with you, too. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to understand now, but it's probably. I ain't suffering over it. It's one of the better things to happen to college football, if you think well, about yeah. it. Well, yeah. You know, it really is. It, 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 a little, it brings a little parity back. Do you know how cocky Alabama fans would have been had we won this one? Well, sometimes you got to lose so you can learn to win. I mean, appreciate it at least, you know. It's, it's, well, he's on. Yeah. I mean, admit it. Yeah. We lose one game and we're like having a fit. I mean, you can't win every single game no, every no, single no. year. But it sure it's, is what nice when it well, happens. Well, yeah, it is. Y'all would know that. Well, no, stop. We're, we're That's saying. being a jerk right there, D. Lauderdale. You Auburn fans wouldn't See? know that. You wonder why we smile. Exactly. Yeah. 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 What did I say? Y'all wouldn't know that. It went one ear out the other. Y'all wouldn't know that. But it was, a, hey, we got our money's worth. The, you, the, the country got a real good ball oh, yeah. game. Yes, man. they you did. Know, Alabama stood up for the SEC as about as good as you can, minus six seconds. And, I like uh, what, up, Danny. I like what right. Saban Let's had to up, say man. afterwards <laughs> on AOL.com, class act. Yeah. I mean, hey, uh, yeah. 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 we we'll back in action tomorrow on any car shows? Yes. Uh, I've got some information tomorrow <laughs> uh, <laughs> about World of Wheels. So, uh, hey, talk about your big movie just came out. Well, yes. it was pretty exciting. We, we took a group of about, oh, 40. 50, yeah, it was a <laughs> ton of folks, and we went, and everybody was elbowing and pointing at the screen and stuff. Uh, but you were three, in it more than once. Yeah, three good it. FaceTime. Uh, a couple other times, I only knew where I was standing. But to see yourself as big as it is right now, your head on the screen is incredible. <laughs> I mean, it was very you got double the space, didn't you? I bet yeah, that was yeah. Because awesome. my head is so big. Stop it! <laughs> see, there's was, that uh, jerk thing again. It was weird though. Uh, of course, they were, you know, Bradley, Karen were there. And Bradley oh, you cared was, all about yeah, church. Yeah, Bradley was in the lobby budget. trying to say, "Hey, this guy was in the movie." You know, <laughs> point, I, mean, I was like, "Be quiet, Bradley." Hey, he took a shower at his house. Yeah. Well, that's like exactly. that's like Danny's mom being there watching the movie too. My mother, you. my mother, uh, she doesn't hear the script. She doesn't hear the line. She doesn't. There's my baby. She, she doesn't. She loses the plot completely. And then the first thing she'll ask is, 
why didn't you shave? <laughs> said, well, Mama, they wanted me that way. Yeah. Well, Is that it, your Mama and Daddy? No, see, they're still in Ohio. Oh, so I don't well, think they've seen Maybe up there? Yeah, they, maybe they'll get out to see it. <laughs> they're 48 miles from a Walmart. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they're out. So how big a feeling was it, though, to see you on a major, major deal? That well, was awesome. Um, a real movie. It was a surreal moment. I mean, I, I ain't going to lie. It was very real. I mean, to know and relive the days that you were there and how hot it was on the tarmac and then see that scene and then knowing that some of it was green screen, they made us look like we were up on the yeah. tower loading him in the capsule. But here's the funniest thing that happened. I don't want to steal any thunder, but you've seen the, the previews. Mm -hmm. You know, he has a problem with the heat shield when he's coming back in, yeah. and the, and the, and the, and the uh, spacecraft gets hot. Talking about John Glenn. Yeah, John mm -hmm. Glenn. Well, I'm the one that puts the hatch lid on. So you screwed it up. And so Reed <laughs> Holman turns to me right after the movie's over, and he goes, I'll tell you why he almost died. You didn't put that hatch on. <laughs> So what's it like, Danny? Is that a big moment for him? You, he's yeah. a prize student. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It, it's, uh, In what, one year? Now, what's the name well, of the movie? Two years. Yeah, two years. Hidden yeah, Figures. Hidden yeah, Figures. Well, it wasn't About two years. It hasn't been right? two years. It hasn't yet. been a full and, uh, two years. Well, I guess it's happened. A lot of learning uh, in all of that. Uh, 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 you're right. The, how hot it was you shot that day. How long the hours mm -hmm. were. The audience never knows that. And then yeah. when you see the cut, the final cut, uh, how lucky you are because you realize, oh, I've been cut out. Uh, Did you say, make the trailer? I made the yeah. trailer. Yeah. And, and let me yeah. tell you one quick thing, if I've got a second. There was a scene. There was a scene was where the second. camera was literally almost a hundred yards away from us. It was a long, wide shot. Mm -hmm. And I'm in the shot, but I'm way over there by the truck doing something, helping him get in the transport truck. Well, I remember that day thinking, we're so far away, they'll never see us. But then I thought about what Danny said, always do good work. You know, never never call it in. Yeah. Well, you know what they did in that Zoomed scene? In. They had zoomed in. <laughs> that was some of my best FaceTime. And so if I'd have been looking all goofy and not paying attention, <laughs> then that would have looked, you know, Better terrible. Cut it. Like well, you are now. Because I, but, but I was game on. Yeah, yeah exactly. All right, y'all going to be back tomorrow. Uh, uh, yeah. Not after yeah. this interview. <laughs> It's um, he's uh, he's also already busted one of my records. It took like seven years to do. He's been in a movie that's number one at the box office already. That's like true. twenty. Yeah. What did it sell? You, you were talking that's about true. that. That's true. It beat Rogue One. Yeah. So. <laughs> that's very good. Right, very good. Congratulations. Sucked up all the airtime, so I. Congratulations. This only take a second. But it took like he needed minutes. it. All right, we gotta go. We'll see y'all right and early. I will be back tomorrow. Yes, and Later. he won't be quite as rusty. Bye bye. <laughs>